Hello everyone! The main objective of this tutorial is to examine the process of osmosis in plant cells. Osmosis is usually the diffusion of water molecules through a semi-permeable membrane. And it is a passive movement of water molecules from one solution to another down their concentration gradient. So the molecules will move from a high water potential to a low water potential. This plant cell right here is surrounded by a solution called solution B. And the vacuole of the plant cell is surrounded by another solution called solution A. Remember that in plant cells, Beside the cell membrane, we have the cell wall. So this is solution A, or the vacuole, and this is the cell membrane, which is semi-permeable, allowing only water to enter and leave the cell. And here's the cytoplasm, and next to it we have the cell wall. And right here we have solution B. Now let's consider that solution B is hypertonic. Usually a hypertonic solution has a lower concentration of the freely water molecule. It will have a high concentration of the solute. So what will happen as a result of osmosis? As a result of osmosis, water molecules will pass from the vacuole to the outside of the cell. And this will allow the cytoplasm and the vacuole to shrink. So when the plant is surrounded by a hypertonic solution, the vacuole will shrink pulling the cytoplasm inwards from the cell wall. Hence, the cell is then plasmolyzed. Plasmolyzed cells are usually flaccid. However, if solution B was hypotonic, it will have a great concentration of the freely water molecules. So as a result of osmosis, water molecules will enter into the vacuole. The plasma membrane is then pushed against the cell wall, as shown here by the red arrows. So the cell wall will exert the pressure on the cell contents to support the cell, even if the solution is still hypotonic. So we can conclude that the pressure potential prevents further net uptake of water molecules. Usually when the plant is surrounded by a hypotonic solution, there's a net movement of water molecules into the cell by osmosis and this continues until the pressure potential of the cell prevents further uptake of water so the cell is said to be turgid and this turgidity provides the plant's structure with support thanks for watching